I'm Ms. Al from The Upcoming, lovely to speak to you today. So could you tell us a little bit about your involvement in the project Endurance in the documentary and what kind of drew you to climb on board with this? I'm John Shears, I was the expedition leader for Endurance 22. Uh, this is the expedition which went out to search for Shackleton's Endurance in 2022. I had 30 years of working in Antarctica. Uh, so for me, this is the ultimate challenge. I'd heard a lot about Shackleton, knew how difficult it would be to find his wreck. So for me, as a polar expedition leader and explorer, to try and get onto that site was a huge, huge challenge. And we picked a hand-picked a crew to come with us. We found we found the wreck. We found the wreck, but only right at the last moment. You know, I was literally about to make the decision to to cut to come off off the search site and head back to Cape Town. Uh, so it was right at the end of the search that we actually found the ship. Can you tell me what was that moment like? Oh my God, it must have been just like tears of joy, especially right at the last minute with all the challenges that you'd already been through with your crew. Yes, that's, 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 that's right, yeah, because I, I thought I was going to have to make the decision to call the search off. So, you know, we're right there at the last moment. Come on to the bridge. You know, I've been called up the bridge uh, with Menson Bound. You know, it, was, it sounded very urgent. I thought we'd had a big accident. Either we'd lost the marine robot vehicle down in the water, or we'd, perhaps even worse, we'd had a big accident and maybe someone was seriously injured. So when Nico then stands up and shows me the uh, iPhone with the image of the wreck, uh, a sonar picture, I just, it was, it was just incredible. An incredible moment, one I'll never forget. Um, uh, yeah. You, can, you see it in the documentary, I'm just jumping up and down, hugging Nico, because I honestly thought it was gonna be such bad news. And in fact, it was this incredible, brilliant, absolutely once in a lifetime news that you're getting. So it was it was a fantastic moment. You know, certainly one, one I'll never forget. And I guess, obviously, the preservation from the icy waters allowed you to sort of really delve into, you know, their last moments and what their life was like with the plates and everything and having access to modern technology as well has actually been, you know, really helpful in this instance because, you know, you can use the 3D robots to go down and document all the things for you to be able to see that so how was that well we had a fantastic uh, subsea team with us led by incredible nico vincent um yeah he'd chosen the vehicle uh, a saab saber tooth and we could put all sorts of di different payloads on the vehicle uh, cameras sonar a digital scanning system and these systems were absolutely made for the project so the uh, the vehicle itself was specially made the scanners were special made as were the cameras and most of them had never actually been tested at that depth endurance is a deep water wretch is over 10,000 feet that's you know, just a little bit uh, shallower than the titanic so and then to get to her you still have to go through two meters of surface sea ice so it's a huge, huge technology challenge to do it. And then to see the scans, you know, we had no idea that sh she would be that well preserved. She was a very well built ship at that time in the early 1900s, probably the strongest wooden ship ever built. Uh, so we knew that you know, she might be still intact, maybe, but cr crushed, you know, a bit like a concertina. Um, but uh, when we got there, we realized that she's still in, you know, see it on the scans, uh, you can see you know, there's so much on the wreck, uh, boots and plates, uh, there's a flare gun. Uh, the guys the other week, they found, a, they found a sewing machine on the deck. So it's amazing what is still there. And I think the most special moment for me uh, is when Nico took me into the operations container and they brought the saber-toothed vehicle up to the, the stern, uh, the rear of the vessel. And there you can see endurance in brass and underneath it, uh, a star, a Polaris star, because uh, Endurance was originally called Polaris. That was her, her first name. So to see that, absolute pristine condition. The paint, the black paint, is still on the vessel. It's, she is in the most remarkable condition. Uh, Menson Bound Armoury, an archaeologist, calls her the, you know, the best preserved wooden shipwreck he's ever seen in over 40 years. And one of the things we hope very much for the documentary is that uh, it will bring Shackleton exploration, modern exploration to a whole new audience, millions of people around the world. Uh, and that will inspire particularly young people to think about science and technology and exploration and what they might be able to do in their lives. And that you know, they might be able to, you know, like me, I followed in Shackleton's footsteps. Maybe they want, might want to follow 
you know, what we did on the Endurance 22 expedition and think about explorers in the future. Thank you so much. He indeed was very inspirational. Thank you.